Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily FX market review for the trading day ending Wednesday, November 11th. Firstly to the Euro US dollar and here for the third consecutive trading day we've seen formation of a very small bodied candle. This suggests uh, that there is a lack of momentum either to the downside or to the upside and it certainly is in stark contrast to the strong selling that we saw in the uh, days in the week prior to that uh, to these last three trading days. Very strong support coming in at the 107.14 level. In terms of Ichimoku a strong bear market in all three time frames trading below the cloud the Kijun Sen and the Tenka Sen, and that uh, negativity is supported by the Chika Span and strongly supported. Now this market is looking a little overextended in the depth of price action away from the Kijun Sen and the Tenka Sen, and the important thing here is that we haven't seen any strength from the buyers attempting to find that equilibrium in those longer term time frames. Normally we see the market retrace back towards these indicators but we haven't seen that and this suggests that in slightly bigger picture terms the uh, buy uh, sorry the sellers uh, probably are still the stronger party and it suggests that uh, if they can uh, mount a uh, strong assault on the 10714 support and just below their 10663 we certainly could see the euro us dollar trading down to 10521 at the moment in this uh, new session that has opened we are seeing something of a rally. Um, if uh, we do see the trend uh, uh, continue to the upside, and we have had a change of trend today with the candle making a higher high and a higher low, but if we do see that trend continue, there is likely to be some strong resistance coming in initially down uh, at around the 108.18 level. Now just looking at the hourly charts here with the Euro US dollar and uh, here we've seen uh, for today's session and the majority of the session the market continuing to trade down below the Ichimoku cloud and that's in line with the strong selling that we've seen previously the market maintaining price action down below the cloud. Um, in early in the session the market attempted to rally and found resistance around the first pivot point resistance level and just within the cloud selling off to uh, just test through the middle pivot point level in the Kijun Sen attempting to rally and finding resistance at the Ichimoku cloud once again. Importantly however late in the trading session and in the start of the new session we've seen the market rally through the Ichimoku cloud and maintain price action above there and this suggests that we may have seen an important change in the bias in the longer term time frame and could see the euro US dollar starting to trade to higher levels now um, this um, with the uh, price action up above uh, each of the Chimaku indicators it does suggest that we have a bullish bias in all three time frames and that's also supported by the chicka span being above the corresponding price action so a good uh, possibility of the market trading to uh, higher levels uh, potential resistance coming in at the first pivot point resistance level 107.74.75 roughly and then uh, up to the second a very good possibility of the market trading up to the second around 108.06 if we do see uh, any uh, selling on this alley chart uh, in the next few hours uh, we're likely to find very strong support now down around the middle pivot point level level around 107.38 we have the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen trading around that area and also just below there the top of the Chimoku cloud around 107.33 so we could see a solid base here for or some buying to come in and off if we do see any selling but certainly with the trend being up we will be watching the first pivot point resistance level watching for a breakout some follow through through there for a potential test up to the second and then potentially even we could trade up to the third but it is just looking a little overextended and the second does seem a more likely target next to the US dollar Japanese yen and following the market breaching up through the 123 level of resistance we didn't see any strong follow through and we saw formation of a couple of very small body candles and indecision entering the market for today's candle we've seen the sellers return in a much stronger manner and breach down through the 123 level which had held as support for those two days the uh, strong bearish breach with uh, some commitment from the sellers and the sellers closing with control does suggest that we could see the US dollar Japanese yen trade to lower levels potentially to find support at the 122.47 level or at the 
uh, 12 level or potentially at the Tenkan Sen around 121.93. Um, the, we do have a bullish market in all three time frames trading above each of the Chimago indicators supported by the chicka span and any retracement here is likely to be quite healthy for this uptrend in these three time frames and would be a normal process that we see with uptrending price action uh, retracement support coming in uptrending price action retracement and support coming in and then the uptrend continuing on its way obviously any uptrend would be contingent upon the market breaking out once again through the 123 level. And with the hourly chart here with the Euro US dollar and uh, here interestingly for today's price action the majority of the day or pretty much all of the day uh, the price action was held within the Ichimoku cloud and that suggests that we certainly may have seen the market begin a transition into a strong downtrending phase in the longer term time frame on the hourly charts whereas here previously all of the price action was well up above the cloud within the cloud for today suggesting that the strength that we saw in the market is now uh, no longer there uh, strength of the buyers and now for the new session we are seeing the market trade down below the cloud um, this suggests that we certainly could see a uh, beginning of a new longer term time frame bearish bias in this market potential resistance at the middle pivot point uh, level around 122.91 123 and then just above there we have the kitchen sand trading around 122 96 and that could hold a strong resistance very good possibility of a test to the uh, pivot point support levels the first is at uh, uh, roughly about 122.64 the second is a very real possibility of being tested as well 122.45 and even the third uh, could be tested as well that's down around the 122 level any uh, rally will need to breach through the uh, middle pivot point level and through the Kijin Sen if we do see that we could see a test to the first pivot point resistance level around 123.10 and uh, as we move into the uh, trading day the first pivot point resistance level is within the Ichimoku cloud and therefore strengthening the potential resistance around that area next to the Aussie dollar US dollar and uh, here we've seen uh, for the fourth consecutive trading day price action down below the Ichimoku cloud um, previously we breached down through the, the 70.63 level in a bearish manner we didn't see any strong follow through and we saw formation of these weak uh, small bodied candles suggesting indecision in the market uh, the one uh, sorry the 70.63 level then ended up turning into resistance and that's what we've seen today as well uh, that area has held as resistance with the market just closing around that area breaching through there and finding resistance at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud uh, a positive here for the buyers however is the a solid build of net momentum in terms of the size of the white body being larger than any we have seen in the recent past and that suggests that uh, there is a possibility of this trend continuing to the upside and at the moment in this new session we are seeing the 70.63 level hold as support uh, if we do see see a rally we may continue to find some strong resistance at the uh, bottom of the cloud at 70.91 or we could extend into the cloud and we are then likely to find resistance at the Tenkan Sen at 71.20 and already as I speak we are seeing uh, buying coming in off the uh, uh, previous resistance level holding a support and the market already testing to the Tenkan Sen so we will be watching that Tenkan Sen whether it will continue to hold as resistance as it has done in the recent past here uh, quite a volatile market at the moment with rejection from there and the market trading back up to there this also coincides with uh, an economic report coming out with uh, some employment figures coming out so uh, we won't be looking at the hourly chart at the moment it could be rather volatile now we will have a quick look but <laughs> really uh, the volatility here the market's taken out uh, two of the pivot point resistance levels in a strong bullish manner the important thing here was as with uh, the other markets we've seen this change in um, the trend in the longer term time frame with the open for this new session up above the Ichimoku uh, cloud and the Kijin Sen and the Tenkan Sen with a bull market in all three time frames and if you were perhaps buying on this breakout here you may have been in this move with the market trading up through the second pivot point resistance level already 
uh, it suggests that we are looking at some extreme trading already and certainly would be taking some profits here if uh, we had uh, been uh, going long on that breakout. Whether the market will test to the third pivot point resistance level is debatable. It certainly could. Uh, but looking to the uh, Kijin Sen and Tenkan Sen to hold a support at the moment, the market has bounced off in this hour that hasn't finished trading off the middle pivot point level. But really this market is done now for it's not a good trading market on the hourly charts now after uh, this volatility entering on the uh, unemployment report moving to the uh, to cable the british pound us dollar and uh, here we've seen strong buying uh, in this market for today uh, solid support down at this 10 oh, sorry 15053 level previous days trading we saw an introduction of indecision around the previous support level 15153 it did set the market up for a potential change of trend back to the downside in line with the market being bearish in all three time frames and uh, as always we require a confirmation we haven't seen that occur we have seen uh, uh, the uh, buyers continue in the market and trading up through some important um, uh, sub resistance levels 150, 153 and through 150, 168 in a strong bullish manner and this suggests that we are likely to see continued upside here and we are seeing that in the new session with potential resistance coming in at 152.43 and also around the Kijun Sen and the Tengen Sen. Now just looking at the Fibonacci retracement and trying to gauge where we could find some resistance coming in and uh, interestingly the 50% level is exactly where the Tenkan Sen is trading and uh, the with the Kijun Sen trading just above there we may see that area hold as strong resistance. So what we need to do is with the market being uh, quite bullish at the moment with a bullish uh, uh, trade up through 38 through the 38.2% level we'll be watching how the market reacts to this area around the 50% level and if we see strong selling coming in or if we see the buyers lose control or lose commitment uh, we will be looking for confirmation of a trend back to the downside and uh, that change of trend could be in line with the market being bearish in all three time frames. Also examining the Fibonacci uh, extension technique or Fibonacci projection technique and here we're examining the relationship of the current first time frame uptrend to the immediate previous first time frame uptrend and here we see the market testing to the 78.6% 78, level we are just trading through there now our target here is the 100% level at 152.73 and it's just above the uh, Kijun Sen indicator so with the previous technique and the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen all around this area it does suggest that we could find very strong resistance around that level if we do trade up to that area and looking to the hourly chart here and uh, here we see that, that the market has transitioned from that strong downtrending phase into a strong uptrending phase on the hourly charts. Uh, the clue here came in the previous day's trading when the market traded the whole day within the Ichimoku cloud finding support at the bottom of the cloud and around the middle pivot point level. The breakout occurred early in the new session trading to the first uh, to the second pivot point resistance level in fact and then uh, throughout the day it continued uh, trending up quite strongly above each of the Chimaco indicators and uh, finding some resistance very close to the third pivot point resistance level. At the moment we've opened above each of the Chimaco indicators. The Tenkan Sen is holding a support. We are looking just slightly overextended in the depth away from the cloud, not too much so. Uh, any uh, pullback may find strong support at the middle pivot point level around 150.183 or at the Kijun Sen at 150.175 at the moment. But a very real possibility of testing the first pivot point resistance level 152.49 or to the second at 152.85. Next to the Euro Japanese Yen and uh, here we see strong support continuing to come in at the 131.74 level. Uh, it has held on multiple occasions in the recent past. We do still have a bear market in all three time frames and this is suggesting that if the sellers are strong enough they can breach through 131.74 we certainly could end up changing, uh, trading down to lower levels. If we do see the market rally uh, we'd like to see a bullish close up above the Tenkan Sen trading at 132, uh, 132, 132.32 and a bullish close above there could easily see uh, the market test up to 133.15.